Welcome everyone to another video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to change your desktop wallpaper or background here in Windows 10. And to get started, you will want to just find a blank area here on your desktop and right click and go down to personalize and click on it. From here, make sure you have background selected in the left hand column. And then if we come over here to this drop down menu, you'll notice you have three different options, picture, solid color or slideshow. And so starting from the top, if we select picture, this just allows us to select a specific image or photo uh, that we want to use as our desktop wallpaper or background. And so Windows 10 will include some default stock images you can use, and it will also list uh, recent images that you've uh, selected. And so you can see as I click on and select these, it will change the background to that specific image. Now, if you have an image saved on your computer that you would like to use as your desktop wallpaper or background, what you'll need to do is just select browse and then from here you will need to navigate to the specific folder or location as to where that image is saved but once there you can just click on and select it and then click choose picture and you can see that it's now changed the background again to the image that i selected now you do have some additional options here in this drop down menu and this will depend on the size of the image that you're using but if you need to change this to make it fit a little bit better you can do so as needed. Now let's say the image that you want to use is not saved on your computer, but it's here on the internet. And so what you'll need to do is find that specific image here on the web that you want to use. And then if I just click on it, I can come over here and right click. And these options will vary depending on which web browser you're using. I'm here in Firefox and Firefox does have a built-in option that says set as desktop background. I'm just going to click on it and then it will give a little preview here. We can adjust the settings if we need to do so. I'm just going to go ahead and click on set desktop background and you can see that it went ahead and changed it. However, if I do the exact same thing here in Google Chrome, if I come to the image I want to use and right click on it, you can see that it does not have that same option. And so what you'll need to do is just click on save image as. You'll want to select the location you want to save it, give it a name and then click on save. And then if I come here to the desktop background again, just right click, go down to personalize and then over to browse. Again, you'll just want to navigate to the location as to where you save that image. And you can see we have watermelon. I'm just going to select it and click on choose picture. And you can see that it's now the background. Again, if you need to change or adjust the settings, you can do so right here. Now back to this top drop down menu, we do have two additional options. We can do a solid color. If that's something we want to do, we just select the color that we'd like to use. Or we can also do a slideshow and this will allow us to select a folder on our computer that is filled with a bunch of images we'd like to use uh, as a slideshow. And so if you do have a folder saved on your computer that you'd like to use, just click on browse and then you'll need to locate that folder with the images you'd like to use and select it and then click on choose this folder. And then you will see that it will start to use images from the folder that we selected as our desktop wallpaper or background. And then if we come down here, we can see that we do have some additional options. We can change how often the image is changed automatically, as well as we can turn on shuffle mode if we'd like to do so. Now, one additional option we do have here is if I come over here and click on themes, and if I make this a little bit bigger, we can see that we do have some themes that we can select as slideshows that will also change the colors of the taskbar and the default colors. And so Windows 10 will have some default themes in here that you can use. And if I just select one and then minimize this window, you can see that it's changed the theme, which includes the uh, background and the wallpaper. But if there's one here that you don't wanna use or you want some additional options, you can click on get more themes. And these are all free to use, every single one of them, but you can just go through here and find you know a theme that you'd like to use. And so for example, if I click on this one, it will give you a preview of the uh, theme here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on get and it will go ahead and download and install it. And then once it's installed, it will then show up on your theme list. And so we can just click on it and select it. And again, it will change the theme to that specific one that we installed and selected. Now you can see that it has changed the default colors and I do like to use more darker colors. So if I come over here to colors and click on it, I can change this back to dark. Or if we want to do a combination, we can do custom and we can choose uh, light on one of them. Or we can switch them up and go half and half. Uh, but for myself, I just like to go ahead and go with uh, full dark. So I'm just going to change it to dark 
and uh, you can use whatever color you'd like to use for your theme. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.